Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm out fishing in a small pond, but it's fairly deep. So, and I probably should say in this dream, I'm out specifically trout fishing, and it's not really a pond, it's really a small section of a lake in the Sierra Nevadas, but I didn't really remember that right away. I throw a lure, but I don't feel it's the best cast ever. A me really kind of a mediocre cast, but I decide to go with it. I pull up and right as uh, the lure gets to the surface, a big white fish starts to follow it and I'm kind of surprised, but this happens once in a while. The lure starts getting really close to me to where I'm done retrieving the cast and the fish is still interested so I just keep waving the pole back and forth and eventually the fish just takes the lure into its mouth and hooks itself. I'm surprised because usually the fish, I thought it could totally see me. It probably could but it was so focused on the lure it ignored the fact that I was there and it grabbed it anyway. So what that means is once that fish generally sees you, they split. They want nothing to do with you. But this fish didn't do that. Nice. Same question. Okay. Where would you go in to explore the dream? There's a lot of uh, density of states of mind picked out. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Oh, and well, it's a very nice dream for that. That's true. So I guess if I were asking him, I would, I would go with any of those states of mind. Like the first okay. one. Uh, That's uh, true. What What was it like casting that lure? Tell me. And um, what did you say? It wasn't quite as you expected. It was a, a mediocre cast. A mediocre. No. And I would I would explore that state of mind yeah. to start out. Fine. Someone else. If you could see, as, as was suggested, different states of mind, do you think there's one more significant or intense or by what other standard you want, more real than the others? And if so, which one would you pick? I thought it could totally see me. It probably could, but I was so, fo but so focused on the lure, it ignored the fact that I was there, and it grabbed it anyway. Good, good. Right, so you're looking at the different states of mind that occur and you're saying that one over there looks like a good one. What do you think of that? Well, I think it goes, what I would pick is surprised, which all the other stuff is referring to surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a particular kind of surprise because that fish very, very special. This is a very strange, I'm very trout special. fishing. I'm trout fishing and this large white fish takes it. I'm really not that particular. I'll catch any fish, really. <laughs> but uh, I was certainly not a, a Sierra Nevada lake does not have big white fish in it. So I'm not expecting this, but okay, cool. Yeah. And then the way I'm catching it, I've made a poor cast and I'm really just trying to get it back to throw it again. Mm -hmm and the fish starts following it. So yet again, I'm sort of like, this doesn't happen very often. This is a rarity. And then 
literally there's no more room to cast so I'm just kind of swinging my pole around and only the <laughs> stupidest little tiny fish will ever fall for that and this fish goes for it anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. surprised yet again like yeah, so taken back surprised yeah. like Right. right there's the lure, right? And you're so focused on it. Right, this fish wants that lure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll add too, when the fish grabs the lure, normally a fish strikes it. They have a quite aggressive move. This thing just smoothly took it right into its mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ignored the fact that I was there, right? So intent upon this. Right, so this, well, this fish doesn't know that I'm going to let it go one way or the other, but uh, that very well could be the end of the fish normally. <laughs> <laughs> but it grabbed it anyway. Right. Right? Right? Uh, <clears throat> Do you find it curious that uh, <clears throat> ignored the fact that I was there? Yeah. So, what do you make of that? Uh, well, I'm thinking the fish is stupid. Like, what? This can't be. It can't be this easy, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, more. Come on. Can't be that stupid. Or yeah. Well, right. I'm having incredibly good luck here because this fish is stupid. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But see, we. I want to. Get your picture of the fish, like he's so captured by the lure that you call him stupid. Well, that's you, that's it's okay. That's your terms. I'll use it, right? Um, I'd probably more like mesmerized or something would be than stupid, but uh, maybe both. Yeah, he's focused, right? Right. Jeff, did you say stupid? I thought you said easy. Well, sure. Like this is too easy. This fish is stupid, really. Oh, like, stupid. Okay, okay. like this shouldn't be happening, but yet it is, and I'm, I'm cool with it. So, um, it's a white fish. It's not a trout. What do you make of the fact that it's a white fish? It's very odd. Very odd. Th this fish does not exist in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's odd, right? Right. Not, but it was a good-looking fish. Yeah, good-looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably could have won a beauty contest. Oh, I don't know about that, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but as a fish, it's good-looking, right? Sure. Right among his fellow. Fish. I've never seen a fish like this to begin with, and it's out of the. It's not the class of fish I'm looking for. Yeah. But I wasn't about to just. Yeah. You know, yank the lure out of the water. I, let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, see, this is a analogy. And we're looking for the missing term. When did you have the dream? I was like a month ago. When? About a month ago. About a month ago. Oh. And yeah, I can recall the day before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, all those things you mentioned about the cat, you could equally apply to a person, couldn't you? Uh, the fish, sure. Yeah, right, right. Odd, not usually in this area, good looking, state of mind is focused, but kind of stupid, right? And, and uh, see, your mind is telling you something interesting because if, if it represents someone, finish it. Well, it's almost got some good qualities, but that ignoring... Yeah, that did it. Right. Did that happen to you? Well, I'd say, on a, I'm not recalling it right then, but sure, on a regular basis, ignoring, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why, you see, if we had the dream the night before, 
drives the night before the event, and we could say what happened the day before. But a month ago, think about what happened. I remember the day before because oh. was, that's why I was puzzled. I was more on the uh, the surprise part. Kind of came up the day before. We're doing some electrical work and things. Just uh, it was a real kind of a nightmarish day, but it worked out in the end. So. I wouldn't go with them. Well, maybe ignoring after work and crap I'd mess around doing then, but I'd. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but it wouldn't have to fit, you see, yeah. the dream. So, notice all those terms, you see. Whatever that represents, it's, it's wouldn't expect it to find that kind of thing or person, whatever it is, right? But it's uh, focused. Uh, attentive, right, and grasp the lure, right? It was after something, not you, but something got involved. Yeah, you could say, but it's after something that's fake and not even presented well. Right, right. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Say it again. What do you call that? Fake. Well, so the lure, it's, a, it's fake. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's well, no, fake. I know, I no, okay. It. See, yeah, similar bait. Well, yeah. bait is actually yeah. real. They just can't yeah. see the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I love fishing with lures. I like tricking the fish. I'm like, you just thought of, you bit a piece of metal. <laughs> so, so what were you telling yeah, me? Yeah, and, and furthermore, you have to, you need to cast the metal lure in a certain way to make it appear real. Mm -hmm. And I certainly was not doing that here. No. Yeah. What's it telling you? Well, if that's me being the fish, I'm going mm. after some crappy bait or, you know, a cheap lure <laughs> or poorly presented. Well, see, if it's you, it's either you or someone else. Sure. It can be, right? So you're going after a bait. You've been baited, right? Using that. And that lured. lured. Lured in, sure. Lured, in, right? and totally ignored someone. See? So that's, again, that could be you or someone. Right? In the same way, we're dealing with that same problem on multiple levels, aren't we? This could be you, this could be you, this could be someone else, this could be someone else. And you also added work. Mark, you focused on work. Why? That's like a, a lure, right? You're getting absorbed in it. And that's a danger. Well, see, it worked out. Just grown up. <laughs> yeah, so now see, now we're spinning sure, variations, sure. aren't we? And it also could be your work. You're saying you could be involved in your work in a similar way. Yeah. And got hooked. I don't see where that was that day, but uh, it's possible. And uh, notice where you're, take a look at where you're fishing. Notice something curious about it. Somewhere I very much enjoy being. Yeah, see the same problem. I'm fishing in a small pond, it's, but well, it's fairly deep. We should rechange that from small pond to a section of a Sierra Nevada lake. Okay. It just, I think that's just what I came out with okay. right away, but I have a clear image of what it is and it's, Somewhere I like being. Like what? I like to go to these areas. Yeah. Yeah. You know, would you say though? How would you change it? It's no longer a small pond. 
it's a small section well, of a small of, section of a probably a larger lake. Yeah, that's okay. not clear in yeah, the dream. That's good, right? But see, that's playing a role. That where this is going on is in a small, right? Small, a part of a greater part, right? Right. And at a place that you like. Yeah, it's a small part of a nice, pristine Sierra Nevada lake. So we want to add that to the dream, don't we? Mm-hmm. So now, see, what is it, what is it, see, to take it as a analogy, then it's as if you have a sheet over this, and for everything in it, you're going to put some other thing that's going to represent it, given the descriptions that we have. So you have two levels, and that's what we're now doing. Right. And that last part was helpful, right? It's not just a small pond, but it's a part of a larger one, but it's where you like to be. Right, it's not even, a pond is not the right word yeah. for it. Okay, very good, right? But it's, it's a part of a larger, right? Part of a larger whole. So now we're putting that plastic sheet over it and we're raising questions about what might you say it is similar to in your world. And so now we look and see what we may have ignored, right? Um, you're, you're also focusing on the fact that this, that, that whatever you were doing, it's a mediocre, it's a, right, the whole effort is what, what do you want to put it short? I uh, like half. It's not that a it's so the the, the coast the the cast wasn't a good cast, and you don't really have a choice. You can you're still got to get it back. But it was once I noticed the fish is actually following it. That's where I become surprised. Like this shouldn't be happening. Yeah, should, yeah. This was a, see, see, that's important. It shouldn't be happening. What's that state of mind like? Come on, it shouldn't be happening. Sure, that's, that's what I called surprise. It's like it shouldn't be happening. Uh, I had another word, taken back. See, all of these states of mind, right? Right? are things now that we're going to have to put something in its place on our plastic sheet. So, okay. Um, it, see, it happens once in a while. Uh, the, see, the lure is, you say, is quite close to me. Right. Right, Which again, that's, generally, a, that's a vital piece of information that has to be in here. Which in terms of fishing, they don't like to bite it when it's close to you. They now see you and they yeah, say, see you later. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the blur is close to me. Like, uh, take it as a, a human relationship. Does that match a certain kind of relationship that you're casting around and you're, go ahead, finish it. Just to play. Yeah, I'm trying to think that. I'm like, I haven't been close with anybody lately. No. <laughs> hmm. I have not gotten close to someone lately. Hey, maybe it's referring That's to my... That's why it's interesting, see? That's part of the drama. All right, so now we go back in the dream and we want to see whether there is something else we missed. Look here, see? Uh, um, I keep waving, right? Fishing pole, right? What's that like? 
So in one way, I'd say it's a retarded waste of effort and you shouldn't bother with that. The only reason I'd do that is to kind of, so I could visually see the action of the lure, like what is it really doing under the water? Because yeah. I can't see, you know, underwater, but uh, fish don't go for that. Yeah. But this is different, so. Yeah, and it's working. The fish is still working. following it. See, we want to put that in there too. I'm gonna add this. It's still the same state of surprise, taken back. Uh, the maybe whole thing is a bit, of, a bit yeah. of disbelief. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing is just one state of mind of being surprised about each of right. these things. Constantly. Right. right. And as uh, Jeff mentioned, you could go through this and line up states of mind for each of the different degrees of surprise. Yeah, it just keeps getting more so. Yeah, yeah, until you finally, in the end, he, he grabs it anyway. So what's that like, the last stuff, he grabs it anyway? What does that do to you? It was totally puzzling the way the fish grabbed the lure. I'm, same kind of thing, like, really? This can't be happening. <laughs> Now, whenever you get a dream like this where everything lines up and you have it all in place, all right, and then the dreamer says, well, you know, uh, actually I don't have anything I can relate it to. Then you ask yourself, uh, the marks of a prophetic dream? That. That you understand all the possibilities, but there doesn't appear to be anything that matches it. So what if this is prophetic? That might indicate, if so, that there's something in your immediate, your future, that hmm. would match each of these things. Oh, you had it a month ago. It had stayed with me for a few weeks. Stayed with me a few weeks. And I still remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nothing so far has matched it. I've been puzzled about it. Like, I, I got the surprise state. I'm like, where? Yeah. Where is this? Yeah, where is it? See, that's futuristic, see? Like, where is it? I'm looking for where the, you're looking for the missing term. Where does this fit? That's the mark of a prophetic dream. Hmm. It's, it's incomplete. But you understand all of the piece, pieces and you understand the states of mind throughout. So if it leaves you with a mystery, the mystery is prophetic. Cool. So you know what we want? We want to know what's going to happen to you in the next, hey, and one month ago? We're, we're going to bug you to see whether it matches something that's coming up. When do you think it might come up? Oh, uh, tomorrow maybe? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best that, I just came up with you there is, yeah. it should say I'm out trout fishing in a small Sierra Nevada section of a larger lake, where I likely had to hike incredibly difficult route to get to, and nobody else is around, and it's very pretty. Is there anything that you're reading or doing? 
I'm not following you here. Well, is there anything that you're reading or engaged in besides uh, any? Oh, you're possible? saying, I thought, I thought you were talking about this dream. I'm like, no, I'm fishing in the dream. <laughs> Uh, lately, not a whole lot, but uh, Robin and Ingmar and I are doing the Gorgias on Sundays. And then we started, you know, being that there hasn't been much going on here in the last month, I was complaining about it with Ingmar and saying, <laughs> you know, I'd, maybe we ought to get into the elements of theology, you know, that way if people don't come regularly, you could at least do one proposition or two and be into it. And if you want to come regularly, you can see the whole the whole so so, so, so yeah. I have I know in that sense I haven't gotten into that yet but I have been into the Gorgias oh, really? and what have you been seeing in the Gorgias uh, well I mean how to read it and understand it I, have, I haven't really spent much time in it so but I think you know we're doing a pretty good job I think see just please well it just seems interesting that if, if, if Jeff were to judge himself as a fisherman here, I, I think he'd make himself a pretty low grade. Um, it's, you know, it's, uh, a bad, exactly. it's, uh, well, it's a bad cast, he's wiggling his pole, it's, uh, um, uh, he, he's done, he's retrieving it, and, and yet the fish still keeps coming on, and you still succeed. Well, I'd say in that sense, as a fisherman, I got an A. <laughs> well, but I mean, fish, but, but how the you're, cast was a you're C. Judging, you're judging your technique, and your technique seems to be, you're judging it as, as, as weak. It's, yeah, it's not that good, and I'm just... I'm, but the fish is going to be damn persistent in pursuing the hook anyways and getting caught. So I'm just wondering how you're judging yourself these days. Hmm. Yeah, I'd probably give myself a high C or maybe uh, a... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's describing in this discussion... Well, that's good there, Dave. ...that they're fishing around, looking for something intellectual to yeah. commanding, and, and yet, more mm -hmm. profound. And yet, uh, it, it still seemed to be succeeding as a fisherman. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, this is a crisis. See, we're getting close to wondering whether we can go uh, now we're into allegorical and one more step what would be the next step anagogic right right does this have an anagogic Prophetic, anagogic means the, in the realm mm -hmm. of the spirit. And that's what you're both raising, right? And quite properly. You know, that, that was kind of a puzzle to me. I'm like, is there some surprise that I'm doing something that I'm ignoring the fact that I'm doing well? That's been a question that I've been holding around here with this dream for the last well, few weeks. Yeah, but you're not, yes, but nonetheless, as David pointed out, even though you might get a low grade for fishing, it worked. It very much worked. And you caught something quite unusual mm -hmm. that surprised you. Mm hmm. Well, you can't be successful without being surprised about the fact that you're successful in attributing it to the stupidity of the fish. Go ahead, mm. Mm. It's a failure in itself. Because even if he's successful, he's saying, oh, let's think this fish is stupid. He enjoys that. You know, yeah, I guess in one way I'm not attributing the success to myself here. I'm like, this really can't be happening. I'm trying, like, I'm fishing as poorly as a child, you know? <laughs> yeah, and this thing is still skill, going for it's it. It's not your skill that caught the fish. It's the, the attention of the fish, like the, the fact that it's so into this lure. I, I'm not doing anything special. Right. Yeah. Say, so, does this, one more point, is it possible that the use of the word uh, providence, providential, is playing a role in this dream? 
Well, isn't it in all of them? Well, but what the formal idea of providence, of course, is that when you, when you receive some good and it's yours particularly, you've done nothing to bring it about other, other than your own openness, and it's particularly good for you, spiritually significant, and it's providential, and it's probably pranoia. That's your point? Uh, okay, so I'm supposed to ask a question? <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't know. So, like, well, first off, is it, like, the white fish, is it better than a trout? Pardon me, Julian? Is, so he said it's a big white fish. He was trout fishing, but it's, it's a big, I mean, is that better than a trout? Like, can you eat it? I don't know, like, with... Yeah, what I, about the white fish? Yeah, is it, is it better than you expected? I mean, everything else seems to be going better than you expected. And what about the fish? Uh, for something that I was not intending to get, I was pretty happy with it. It was a good looking fish. Was that only one white fish? He didn't answer your question. So what are you going to do? Punch him? <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> so, um, so, okay, so you're fishing for something to eat? No. Oh, no. you're fishing for fun, throwback? Yeah. I throw them back always. So it, so it makes no difference, like edible, not edible. In one way, not at all. So, uh, but it's bigger. My uh, it's my scorecard is going to get more points for the more trout and the better looking trout I catch. You gave up your question. I gave it up. No. I answered it. Well, that's what I was going to. But it's a good one too. Oh, so I. Now, do you recall her question? Go back to it. Was the fish? Yes. Yeah, was it better? Fish. Is it better well, what, than Yeah, try it this way. Say, um, I'm well, going to say no, but it's unique and very good as well. Have you ever uh, uh, eaten white fish compared it with trout? Oh, I don't even really like fish. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my... I, I throw him back, he said. I do. <laughs> How important is that, that he throws them back? I, I know it's, because yeah, I mean, how, how many times in this dream are you are you you're almost putting yourself down? I mean, yeah. 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 It's almost. Like, is it? It's so easy, right? Like, how about the Gorgias study that she brought up? Is that is that a little easier than you expected? Oh yeah, I, I've said that to Ingmar. Like, this is really not that difficult. Yeah, but then there's been sections where you're like, well. This one, I actually have to read it more intently than the others. It's okay. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. You're, okay. Like, they're just right. tapping you right on the head. The dream is just tapping you right on the head. No, what, you're well, seeing something else. What because is it? it's showing him that, yes, what is that surprise? The surprise is what? What are you really surprised about? What's the mo most fundamental surprise? In, in this dream, I'm saying it can't really be that easy. For? Well, for me, I'm, I'm the one catching the fish. Right. And I think Julie was pointing out that you think that's up in the right? Sure. Did you write that it might have been easy reading something right. like that? Right. Where he's also seeing the sequoia. Yeah. See, a new level just emerged. What is this? Yeah. Can't do that easy. Well, that, that it came. really can't be that easy. That's true for anything providential. It can't be that easy. Well, you said, so it really can't, that's saying I'm having trouble like accepting it, but it is very much happening and I very much see it and I'm going with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, see, that we'd put in here, too. Well, that, it kind of starts right here. Really can't yeah. be happening, or right, it's right. really that easy? Really, it can't be, yeah, it, it can't be happening. It, that goes with this one. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Another way, a more depth view of the same thing. Right, right, right. Sir. Have you uh, had that kind of experience in the past month with your reading or otherwise where you said it really can't be that easy? 
Uh, no, I just normally it's more of a negative. This is easy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it does not come around with this surprise kind of thing of like, wow. What are you saying? <laughs> well, he just said basically, he basically said yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's but right. But this can't be that easy. That's Jump in. Come on. Just, can I ask another question? I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after you do it. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you can ask your question. Okay, that's my question. Like, what does that mean? That it <laughs> right, so good. It ignored the fact that you were there, right? Like, it wanted that lure so bad. Right. And you kind of stated that at the beginning. Like, I feel like you brought that up as an important point during the beginning. Yeah. You had started yeah. talking about everything. Well, in terms of fishing, that is, they don't do that. Right. It's, this is a very rare kind of situation, and I recognize that in the dream. Oh, everything in the story is rare. Mm -hmm. Except oh, for the except crappy cast crappy or cast, where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Well, even that's rare. I can't get out to these spots that often. It takes a lot of effort and your time there is limited. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's... It just, it just constantly you seem to be so dismissive of the fact that it's easy. So, all right, well, well, when I was asked about the easy in this dream, right, I, it's, I'm dismissive, but I'm very surprised as we're asked, hey, how are you finding the Gorgias reading? I said, there's not the surprise thing going on with it. It's, yeah, whatever, so, so what, it's easy. That is totally dismissive, right. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. He's, he's kind of dismissive about his successes, isn't he? That's true. Jeff, another question. Um, have you been bored recently? Have I been what? Bored. Bored. Bored? Oh, yeah. Like, what comes to mind? Oh, with, like, our country and the politics and... Yeah, but in your personal life, uh, have, you, have you found just things that you, allegorically speaking, have you found that anything in your life that you previously used to do, which took some skill, now all of a sudden... Like, like allegorically speaking, this fish, what you said earlier, is that what makes this game fun, because you're not eating them, you just throw them back, what really makes it fun for you, where the enjoyment is, is in the trickery of it, right? Yeah, so in, in a way, sure. A piece of metal, I think That's right. Said, right. That's right. But this stream is saying, uh, it, it didn't take skill to do that. Yeah, it didn't so, work. So if it didn't take skill right. to do it, it I wouldn't say no skill but not, not a lot. Say, I'm sorry, say it again. I wouldn't say no skill but not a lot. Not a lot. And even you yourself are going, well, gee, that's a crappy throw, right? But the fish is going for it anyway. But doesn't it seem that if you threw a crappy thing and the, and the fish goes for it anyway, then there wasn't much trickery in it. There's no more fun in that, right? Oh man, I would find that to be thrilling to catch a fish that large and a nice fish and it really fell for that kind of a, a cat. I would, I would be laughing and say, wow, this is too okay. easy. <laughs> okay, I'd <laughs> throw it back anyway. <laughs> okay, jump in. So, because like what keeps coming back to me is what you changed, which is not on this, which is where are you? The Sierra Nevadas. And it's somewhere that you love to be and you said what? Place, it's really so it's it's not totally <laughs> clear in here in the dream, but it's likely that I went backpacking up some high mountain to get to this pristine spot because you don't catch nice fishes if you don't do that. So it's kind of already assumed or it's in the background that that's what I already did. Right. So you did this stuff. Well, a good chunk of it, yeah. The worst part's over. I'm already at the the fun part. So the I climbed the mountain already. That's already passed. That's good. That's all. another element. Yeah. Okay. You, we I take a break and then we go back to work. Excuse me. That, yeah, go what ahead. What do you think about the fact that people are bringing up that you're dismissive of the fact that it, you keep saying that it's easy? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm considering that a lot, going, hmm, I'm having trouble 
separating the way I do it, you know, I'm like, so being dismissive about easy versus this dream here, there is some of that there, but there's a lot of surprise, like, wow, as where that doesn't normally happen. Easy may not be bad. It's certainly, yeah, yeah, I don't find it bad. And I'm like, wow, I'm catching this really cool fish. And that there's something that is willing to. Okay, let's take a break and then we go back and do some work. Other kind of work. Thank you. Thanks. Fun. Thanks for your contributions.